okay? And one of the, one of the to, uh, to, uh, topic was that H2O3 gateway is a peer-to-peer, -peer. yeah? Yeah. So when it's a peer-to-peer, -peer, that means is that each gateway has to have its own dial clamp. And each gateway has to have a dial clamp pointing to the other side. Agree? Yes. So if you want a, this gateway to talk to this one, you have to have a dial pair this way, this direction. And if you want to return traffic, they all have to be have a dial pair back, going back and forth. Agree? Because one gateway does not have any knowledge of this other gateway. Now, Gatekeeper was designed to eliminate this issue. Gatekeeper says, okay, if you have an issue two three gateway, to simplify network, put a gatekeeper in the middle. And now all the gateway will register to the gatekeeper. Okay? Now you only have one connection. See, if this gateway wants to send traffic to this gateway, it sends the traffic to the gatekeeper, and gatekeeper decide which way to go. Alright? So the gatekeeper's main job is to centralize dial plan. Provide a centralized dial plan, provides a centralized bandwidth control. Now, in order for two gateways to route calls between each other, you, they must be registered to gatekeeper first. That's an important topic. Gateway cannot send calls to another gateway via gatekeeper without being registered. Now, when a gateway registers a gatekeeper, Think about, you know, if you, if you go back to OSPF environment, I don't know if you guys are aware of OSPF or any routing protocol, when one routing uh, router talks to another router using routing protocol, they advertise what their capabilities are, what network they can reach, right? Yeah. Well, in gatekeeper environment, some gateways, not all, some gateways has the capability to register all the extensions and all the number it can reach, okay? For example, let's say you have a gateway, CME. You have an F, uh, T1 or E1. You have an FXO, you have an FXS, and then you have E4. If, I, if you take a look at it, which one do you see being an endpoint? E4. E4. E4 is an endpoint. What about what about FXS? FXS, a log phone, yeah. F FXS. What about T1 and E1 and FXO? It's not an endpoint. They're, they're not considered to be endpoint. They're considered to be a trunk, right? right? Now, when I say that I gate each gateway may advertise all the prefix it can serve, meaning that when a gateway right here talks to gatekeeper, okay? It has the capability to advertise this and this interface. The numbers that are associated with these interfaces. So, if I have this Comage Express and I have 20 extensions and I'm registered to Gatekeeper, I will let the Gatekeeper know these are my 20 extensions. Okay? This is called advertising prefix. Okay? Now, a Gatekeeper We'll use chat prefix, zone prefix, and alias to route a call. Now, I'll talk about them individually later. Just understand that a gatekeeper use tag prefix and zone prefix to route a call. Why, we use, why do we use gatekeeper? A, centralized.